podcasts brought to you by Real Terrio Radio. Hello and welcome to another podcast of mine, Dick Bachelor, here on Real Terrio Radio. And I haven't been around much lately, and I'm going to tell you why now. So, I signed up to go in the Big Brother house. There is a reason I found out that that bloody idiot, Chase Stones, is going in the house with Gupta. So Big Brother called me and asked me if I wanted to go in. So, of course, I said yes. I'm looking forward to it. Gupta and Chase Stones still think I'm dead. This should be fun when we walk through the door and they see me just sitting there. They're going to be the first two into the house. What should be a big surprise for them when they see me coming in, coming into the house. And yeah, they're going to enjoy it because I know I am. It's going to be six weeks of pure revenge. Old fashioned style of course. I enjoy a good uh, TV show too. Let's hope that we have memorable hours of this show on Dick Bachelor in Big Brother. So, we are looking forward to it. So I flew from India to London where the house is. It was 24 hours before we went in the house and we were in secrecy. Well, actually a week, but I came in 24 hours because I didn't really any have anyone to speak to today because everyone kind to of fake. I'm dead! Thanks to that bloody idiot Chase Stones and that bloody chicken fool. Gupta, who stole all my money. Well, I've got some news for them. I'm not dead. I'm sitting in a big brother holding room waiting to go in. <laughs> now I won't be going in with the public I'll be sitting there as Gupta comes in and Jay Stones I am really looking forward to this Revenge is a, spe- a dish best served sweet And Big Brother agrees So I had had the appointment with the psychologists And the doctors and You know to make sure I was sane enough to go in but once you've, bar- once you've managed to hide your insanity for many, many years, I'm sure that a TV psychologist you can pass. So that's what I did. And they said I was fine to go in the house. It was now only about four hours until, you know, I'm going to be in the same room with Gupta and that bloody idiot Jay Stones, but I have a trick up my sleeve. And you'll find out what this trick is bit later on. I'm looking forward to seeing their faces when I whoa when they walk through the door. Oh it's gonna be fun isn't it? Hello it's me Dick Bachelor. So the housemates are Gupta a call centre worker from India Jay Stone's bloody idiot who we've met before those two names do in the bell Marcus Stone's a tank driver from Cardiff, who happens to be Jay Stone's brother. Noel Moffat, a cinema worker from Brussels, who works also as a as a escort for the European Union. Leroy Paul, a very rich guy from Pontypridd, and never had a job in his life because he's a billionaire. James Moore. A barman and everybody's mate because he knows how to make a very good cocktail. Matt Matthews, a person who would do anything for money. And Gary Williams, a flight attendant from Aberdeen who happens to be a cross dresser in his part time or her part spare time, whose auto seagull's name is. Nicola and Helen Rumble a party animal from London and Shaz Jones mum and wife and a model and Teresa Summers 
former world class skier and failed politician. So it was day one in the Big Brother house and we all entered and I admitted straight away that I didn't like the look of Noel Moffat telling Marcus that I think she looked a bit masculine, you know. Gupta strides in to the house wearing only a pair of fuzzy dice and we all know what the fuzzy dice were covered in. I was surprised to see Gupta as I have not as, you know, he thought I was dead. I was also quite surprised when Jay Stone's bloody idiot walked in too and the rest of the housemates. Then, Gupta admitted that he, he wanted to become a glamour model. After half a glass of wine, hairdresser Jay Stone's bloody idiot admits that he is unsure of his true sexuality and hints at a sordid story from his teenage years. Well, if you've been listening to this podcast, you already know that. Day two in the house. We all woke up at about half past seven. Big Brother, in the infinite wisdoms, decided to press the alarms. We all sat down for a discussion on how to organise the simple tasks in the house, such as cooking, cleaning and everything else like this. Marcus created tension by stating that the kitchen is where women belong, Noel Moffat feeling grumpy due to Marcus's outburst and the lack of cola hits him with a spoon that happened to have been wooden right across the head. It really did hurt him, I wonder. Day three. Uh, we, s- we had to get ready for the first task that was set by Big Brother. We must make a white hole out of, so a model of white hole out of crisps. After much persuasion by Marcus, they, we gambled 50% of next week's food budget on completing the task. Then we all had an afternoon sitting around talking to each other. Day 4 Training for the Whitehall task is well underway. However, havoc ensues when J. Stone's bloody idiot, who is rapidly developing a reputation as the fattest and laziest housemate, eats half of the crisps. Noel Moffat is furious and throws a bucket of water over Jay Stone's bloody idiot, who responds by telling Noel that if she does it again, she, Jay Stone's bloody idiot, will go and tell Big Brother. But I'm guessing they already know because this house is full of CCTV and it's probably going to be on tonight's show. Day five. Today is the day of the task that we have to build a life-size model of Whitehall in London and we must complete it things are going well until shortly before the end when G Stone's bloody idiot farts and blows Whitehall over Big Brother announced to us that the task is a failure Leroy starts to cry Shaz smacks G Stone's bloody idiot and Noel Moffat just run straight across the room and lounges for him. Big Brother sent in the security guards and we all separated. Now it's midnight. It's time to go to bed. Day six. The rest of the housemates today were sitting in the jacuzzi comparing tornadoes. Gupta spent most of the afternoon exfoliating his bum hole. It's not like he's going to get any action in here, is he, really? Come on, like, it's only G-Stones. So far, who's come out of the closet? 
Uh, it wasn't a very exciting day for Live Daddy Vision, if I must say so myself. Day 7. Big Brother was worried that things were getting pretty dull, I guess, because they summoned the housemates and myself to a mass debate about sex after far too many cans of cider that we all brought in the house. Leroy admits that he likes to be spanked on the ass with a wooden spoon. G Stone sits in the choir, sits in the corner, quietly eyeing up me. I was very ashamed of this, as I personally believe J Stone's, after losing us that task, is a bloody idiot and he's still lucky to be here. But what can you do about idiots, eh? So, as you can see, it's been a well-rounded, quite a brief week in the Big Brother house. I really am enjoying it. I've made some friends. I'm always spending my time with Helen Rumble, the party animal. She's awesome. You really should get to know her. And that, and that Gabby Williams. He's, he or she, I don't know what we're going to call her, has been telling me about his cross-dressing times when he goes to work for airline. And Teresa Summers, world-class skier and failed politician, really has been eyeing up Jay Stone's bloody idiot and seen mumbling words like Brexit and strong and stable I have no idea what this means. I'm a bit confused. I've been out of the loop for the last couple of months because I was technically dead. Me and Gupta haven't really had much time to talk to each other. What I think is a blessing from someone up there, if you know what I mean. And I don't mean Big Brother. So, tomorrow we have to make our first nominations. I have no idea who I'm going to nominate. So I went to the diary room and spoke to Big Brother to ask for advice because you're allowed to do this. And I said that I wish to vote out that I've been thinking about voting for Shaz Johns as we haven't really talked and the Matt Matthews because come on, like anyone who do anything for money and isn't, you know, helping Gupta uh, exfoliate his bum well, really wouldn't really do anything for money, would he? So it's been a weird week. I'm in a big brother house. Gonna be here for six weeks. And I better go. Goodbye.